So you're thinking about moving to Fort Worth, Texas? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you around a little suburb that most people don't know about on the Southwest side. I'm gonna take you on a map tour, take you around the suburb. I'm gonna show you some key points of interest. I'm gonna show you some neighborhoods, price points to show you what might fit in your budget. And if you stick around to the end, I am gonna show you my best kept traffic secrets to get around town when the traffic is heavy and you don't wanna miss that. So stay tuned and we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in and around Fort Worth, Texas, then go ahead and subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications, so that you can be the first to know about the current market conditions in and around Fort Worth, Texas. Hi, I am Elizabeth Oliva, and this is the Fort Worth Home Tours. Every day we get emails and texts from people just like you wanting to know more about living in and around Fort Worth, Texas, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, go ahead and give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or even book a Zoom with us. We would love to get on the phone and figure out how we can help you best to make a smooth move to the Fort Worth area. So as I mentioned before, we are gonna go over a little known suburb uh, southwest side of Fort Worth, Texas, and we're gonna hop into the Google Maps and I'm gonna show you around town. So let's get started. Let's talk about Benbrook, Texas. This is on the southwest side of Fort Worth. And as you can see, here's downtown. So pretty much a straight shot right into Benbrook. Several different ways you can get from Benbrook to downtown, but it's, it's pretty close. It's just nestled right in here in the southwest corner of the 820 loop. Okay, that's a loop that goes around Fort Worth. 820 interstate 820 or 820 loop is what we call that so you've got the let's see get rid of that you, you've got about 20 minutes to downtown and all kinds of things I want to show you on the map so I am gonna zoom in to Benbrook and show you a few things so we've got got a lake down here really cool lake and then draw that there. We've got all the things you really need inside of Benbrook. So I'll show you that. So we've got Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. All of those are right here. Black Rifle Coffee, Russell Feed Supply. This is a cool place. Russell Feed Supply is been around for a while and they just built this brand new, beautiful brand new facility here on the corner right by Walmart. So it is lawn care, it is pet care, it's for large animals, horses, cows, you name it, they've got it. So it's feed and supply. A lot of cool things you can find there at the Russell Feed. Walmart, of course, we've got a super center right here in Benbrook that you can access easily. Starbucks is right here. And we've also got Black Rifle. This right here, this right here is the main drag of Benbrook, it's 377. So everything, pretty much everything's gonna be off of 377. And if you go north, this is all southwest of the 820 loop. And then as you can see, we have some pieces that are on the north side, for whatever reason, <laughs> it kinda goes, it encompasses around 820. And you got little pockets over here. So you've got some hotels and some different things uh, you've got a Brahms right there on 377. You've got all kinds of cool shops and restaurants. You've got an Italian, you've got all kinds of fast food. You've got Chick-fil-A, you name it, it, it's around. It's right there. You don't have to go very far at all. So if you are a golfer, if you are a golfer, you've got a couple of options. You've got the Con Valley over here, pretty inexpensive golf course, okay? 4.2 stars, Whitestone Golf Club, it's got over four stars as well. Those are two right in your backyard. You've got the lake right here, and you've got the Benbrook Community Center. This is the YMCA. 
So you've got all kinds of sports fields. You've got like a putting. I don't play golf, <laughs> so it's a it's it's um a, where you can practice your swing and whatever that's called right there at the community center. You got the full gym. You've got the Olympic sized swimming pool with lap with the lanes. All kinds of activities. You've got uh, daycare, you know, different holidays. They will help take care of your kids, different things like that. So full-fledged Benbrook Community Center. And if you live in Benbrook, you get a discounted rate for joining the Y. If you can show them a Benbrook water bill, you get a discounted price. You got several schools. You've got the Benbrook Middle High School. Look at this. You've, you've even got Benbrook Stables. We, you can ride horses here at the equestrian facility right here in Benbrook, right by the lake. So those are some of the points of interest. Now, what if you want to send your kids to a private school? Let me show you how close several of these private schools are. First of all, we have right here, if I can pinpoint it, right down here, you got Southwest Christian School. That is a private school right around, if you, if you take, uh, I think it's called Lakeshore, right around the lake, you'll find it just right outside of the brook. You've also got Trinity Valley, really close to Southwest Christian. You've got Fort Worth Country Day, which is right on the northeast side of Benbrook. And then on the north side, if you go north, a little bit further, uh, just a few minutes, outside of Benbrook, you have All Saints Episcopal. So you've got four different private schools right in your backyard if you live in Benbrook. So let's talk about the neighborhoods in Benbrook. So right here off of 377, this is the, I would call this the West Park development right here. It's older, it's um, like I'd say mid-century modern or mid 80s, 70s, 80s homes. Uh, but a lot of them are being redone. It's a really a great neighborhood, great lots. Then you've got like the Whitestone neighborhood right here. That one is a, another great, they're, they're newer homes. Those are probably gonna be 300 to 400,000 in this neighborhood. In West Park, those, I would say probably below 300 all the way, you might have some 400,000, but it's a very economical neighborhood to live in. And then even more economical is on this side of Benbrook, you've got the off of Winscott. This road right here is called Winscott. And it loops around and it goes right by the uh, YMCA. These two neighborhoods are going to be really, really good as far as price. And I'll put a little, um, yes, very good price on the homes in these two neighborhoods. Very economical. They're going to be older. Again, I would say anywhere from 60s, 70s, 80s in these neighborhoods, but some great value in those neighborhoods. So where are the luxury neighborhoods? We actually do have a couple of luxury neighborhoods in the Benbrook city limits. So let me show you where those are. If you're looking for luxury, you actually would be even more conveniently located in this area. So we've got a couple of newer neighborhoods right here, La Cantera. Grab my tool again. Okay, La Cantera is gonna be this area in here. This is a gated, like right in here. This is a gated community and it's probably starting at seven or 800,000 and up. Beautiful private community with luxury homes inside of Benbrook. And it is inside the loop, so it's a, even just a little bit closer to everything. Then you have uh, La Bandera, which is also close right here and its price point is I would say mid 300s to maybe 500 at the most so it's a little more economical so these are the higher end neighborhoods that are in the in the area that are newer homes now if you want to find homes that are still they're older but they've they're on really nice lots let me show you that area that area is gonna be in here. I can pull the map in and show you. Okay, yeah, here we go. So this is this is all Benbrook. This little pocket right here is Benbrook, all right? This little pocket right here is also a very high-end but older area right through here. 
So you've got this area right by Sam's Club, Best Buy and all that right back in here off of Bel Air Drive South. This is all considered Benbrook, which is really cool. Again, a little older, but very well done and bigger lots is what you'll find right in here in those neighborhoods. Now, I told you, I if you stuck around to the end, I would give you some traffic tips. So I want to tell you my best kept secrets on traffic around this area. All right, so if you need to go to downtown Fort Worth and it's traffic time, let me show you the way I would go. Well, it all depends. If you wanna pay or if you wanna go free. <laughs> You've got this right here. So here's Benbrook. And if you come right here, you can take the Chisholm Trail toll into downtown. It's not going to cost you a whole lot, but it could save you a few minutes. Now, if you didn't want to pay and you had a few extra minutes to spare, you could go this way. You could go 820 and go in through 30 to downtown. That's another route and it's free. That way is free. You don't have to pay anything. There's another route that most people don't even know about. And that route, even the map doesn't know it very well. Let me hone in. Okay. That route, well, my tool again is right here. This is Vickery. So Vickery has been around forever. And it was the way everybody went before the Chisholm was around. And Vickery is a great little secret for those of us that know our way around town because it's not as well traveled, but it's a, it's a straight shot into downtown. You can also use Vickery to do a couple other things. Sometimes, I'll show you here, sometimes this route on 20, here we go, let me get in here. Sometimes, sometimes this right here, right through here, from about here, to here can get, get backed up pretty good. So if you want to avoid that and you want to get like, let's say you want to get to, um, you want to get over here to Hewlin Mall, I'll show you that, which is really normally it's about 10 minutes or so. If you want to get to this area in here and this area is backed up, I will show you the way to go or a way, <laughs> a way you can go. Okay, so you can do this. Okay, pay attention closely. You take Vickery to 183. And you can get over here and it, it, it's kind of out of the way, but not really. It's, if this right here, if this is backed up, you can go this way and you can get there in about the same amount of time. <laughs> and most people don't know you can do that, but I do because I grew up around here. So I know my way around. Um, if you are wanting to get to Whole Foods, same thing. You could go, you go this way. Wait, I went too far. You can go this way to, to right here, okay? Or you could go Vickery and come around that way. If I can, yeah, like like that way. Let's see if I can get that right. Let me bring in Whole Foods. So you can take Vickery. This is Vickery coming up. So you can take Vickery to Brian Irvin to get to Whole Foods. So really everything, Sam's, Costco, Mall, within like 10, 10, maybe 20 minutes, uh, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, all of that is with it less than 20 minutes downtown as well. If you live in this Benbrook area, everything is really close. Like right here, this is the mall. Here's downtown. Uh, if you are going to go work at Lockheed Martin, uh, we have a big Lockheed Martin location right up north of Benbrook. Lockheed Martin right there. So if you are, here's Benbrook down here. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna work at Lockheed, it's right here, not too far. Going into downtown is not far. 
how long does it take to get to the airport? About 35, 45 minutes. And again, traffic wise, let me show you a few tricks on that. If you are in Benbrook and you need to get to the airport, right here, Benbrook Airport. Many different routes actually. You could go all the way this way and this way into the airport, that's one way. You could go Chisholm Toll, 121, 183, into the airport. You could go this way on I-30 and go into the, many different ways to get to the DFW airport. You can also go around the north side. That's what I love about this area. You've got several different ways to get into town if you need to, you get in, even to get into Dallas. You've got many different ways that you can do that. So I hope you found this map tour of Benbrook, Texas valuable, a little suburb southwest of Fort Worth. I hope showing you some of the traffic routes really were helpful as well because it can be valuable when you do live in areas in high traffic times to know which ways you should get around. So as always, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Subscribe below, click the bell for notifications. It, the, the description is below on how to do that. And I am Elizabeth Oliva. This is the Fort Worth Home Tours. And give us a call, send us a text, uh, book a Zoom. I would love to show you how you can make a smooth move to the Fort Worth area. So until next time, hope to show you around town.